abstract class example. Consider the following example where parent class provides an interface to the base class to implement a function called get area. So, in the previous video, we have discussed what is an interface, what is the abstract class and what is a pure virtual function and what are the different other details. So, here in this session, we are going for one practical example and implementation of this abstract class and interface through C++ coding. So, just watch this one, here we have defined, here we have defined one class, the name of the class is shape. This particular class is having one pure virtual function that is virtual int get area is equal to 0. Here you see this very function is not having any kind of definition, only the declaration is there. So, virtual int get area is equal to 0 that indicates to the compiler that do not expect any definition of this member function, only the prototype has been defined. So, here we are having one function, here it is not a virtual function, it is a, a member function. So, void set width this one, it will assign the value to the width and then we are having this set height, the value what will be the parameter has been passed and that will be assigned to the height and in the protective section, the width and height they have got defined of the type integer. Now, rectangle is a class which is implementing or inheriting this shape, this very abstract class. And here also there is another class that is triangle which is inheriting this shape class. As they are inheriting this uh, shape class which is an abstract class because it is containing pure virtual function as one of the member functions. So, they are these classes are bound to implement that get area which was there undefined. So, get area function have got implemented in both the classes rectangle and triangle. Later in our main program, we have defined the objects under the class rectangle, the object name is rect. We have defined this object that is try under the class triangle and then rect dot set with rect dot set height, we have defined them and then we are getting its area by the respective calculations. And similarly for the triangle and the triangle area has got pre-printed and in this way the program has got terminated. So, let us go for one practical demonstration where we will be writing our codes in C++, we shall compile and run and we shall explain once again when the outputs will be coming on the screen. So, here is the demonstration for you. In this program, we have defined one class that is the name of the class is shape. Under this shape, under the public section, we have defined two member functions set width and set height to initialize this width and height is to member variables defined under the protected section. Here we are defining one virtual int get area. This particular function is equal to 0. It is known as the pure virtual function. It is providing the interface framework. It is possible that you want to include a virtual function in a base class as here it is shape so that it may be redefined in a derived class to suit the objects of that class. So, here we are defining this particular get area, but actually our aim is that this get area function will be declared, will be defined in the respective derived classes. Uh, and, uh, but there is no meaningful definition you could give to the function in the base class as we have done here. So, according to our requirement, we shall rewrite this function get area in our derived classes. So, if we come to this class rectangle, which is the derived class and shape is the base class, here we have defined this area using this formula that is width into height, that is the area of a rectangle. In case of class triangle, that is also another derived class for the base class shape and here this get area function has got redefined with this particular formula that is width into height by 2. So, now here in the main function we have defined the rectangular class, rectangle class object RECT and triangle class object TRI. Here we have done this set width functions, we have called the set width and set height, these two setter functions to initialize width and height and now when you are calculating this area of this rectangle, we will be getting the respective area which will be nothing but the product of this 5 and 7 and that would be 35. 
So now here you see we have executed our code and the output will be coming after compilation and there it will be getting the output as 35. Now in the second case you can find that in the second case here we have uh, we have initialized this width and height of this triangle class and this width and height are the member variables of this triangle class which have got inherited from the base class shape and here this 5 and 7 they have been passed so 5 into 7 by 2 if we apply this formula then the triangle area will be coming as 17 as we are doing this integer division so total area if you go on calculating this total area of this triangle so i'm going to get 17 here and this is a very good example of a pure virtual function because here this virtual function here we have got no such rigorous definition of this get area function but we have given the definition at the respective derived classes so if i execute the same program in our gnu c++ we are going to get the same output as we have obtained in our dev c++ output now i think now the conception is clear to you and thanks for watching